Good day, my dear postgraduate students. This particular presentation is especially for the final year postgraduates. The second years also have got a lot to benefit from this. PG topics thus far. In the sense, what have we done so far for the postgraduates? You find that there is a numerology below which ends up in 57. That is 57 topics related directly to postgraduates, excluding undergraduates. What are they? The gross pathology. So the list is over there. You people can go to it. Biopsy interpretations, renal biopsy, synovial, muscle, testicular, and it is to continue, of course. But then the ordeal for us is, can we answer all the undergraduate questions now? If so, you are great. If not, wait. Autopsy. Again, the long travel has just begun. It is to continue. It is an instance where the dead are teaching the living forever. Clinical pathology. There have been a few topics which are common to both the undergraduates and the postgraduates. And whether it is worth or not, we shall see. And how fluent are you in the clinical pathology questions? Usually I chide my students by saying that, okay, you are rattling off with the WHO classifications. Tell me the different methods of hemoglobin estimation. You have got a clinical pathology, so many other things. Go back to the initial introduction if time permits. But otherwise, none of the topic is to be missed. Investigations. Again, a very short list, which I should make long. It is a lot of homework for me itself. Health and disease. Again, it has just begun. The feast has just begun for me. The recent advances, okay, it was a very challenging task and I put in my heart, mind and soul. A lot is to be unraveled over here. Very important from the examination point of view. Technical topics. This is simply a nightmare for the teachers and the students alike, unless they are handling the techniques day in and day out. I have just begun learning all this. What about you? And there are some general topics for the postgraduates. It is intended for the first years. The second years are to harness from it. And the final years are to benefit. The juniors get started, the seniors go back. I hope you know this. And what is your comment on this? This is an extreme example of a foundation failure. That is how the caption ran when I unloaded this picture. I always used to say, we should be strong in our basics. Nobody can 
shakers. We will not be the leading hour of peace. And for all the non-neoplastic topics, the dictum shall be thus. I would advise you people to very much go to Brad's undergraduates and go to Robbins. This method of preparation will save you a lot of time. Tomorrow, in the examination, you are going to be asked about pyelonephritis, the difference between a peptic ulcer and a gastric carcinoma, the different types of polyps, bronchiectasis, and so on, so forth. If I do not answer a pneumonia fluently, it is not that any of us do not know it at all. All of us know. You people have been taking classes, I have been taking classes, but then what matters is how much we answer at the examination to the externals. So this is my humble request. Go back to RATS UG. Whatever topic you like, immediately go back to Robbins and never ever revisit that particular topic until the exam is over. So this will give you an immense amount of speed. Vegetations of the heart, emphysema, whatever it is, stages of shock, edema, types of embolism, infarct, gangrene, anything you say, it is there. The definition of neoplasia, the types of embolism, so on, so forth. We simply don't read books. We become them. And this is an extremely important tool without which I myself will not be able to trace my classes. I'm very happy that most of you are making use of the playlist. I'm trying to categorize them as well as possible, but then these will be improved upon in future. Playlist will be the dictum. Rats will be the direction. Robins will be the fundamental to continue.